this is the best cherry fragrance I have in my collection and that's on period hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is Abba and if you're a returning subscriber hi <laughs> I don't know what that was about but today's video is a fragrance review stroke ranking of some sorts um if you guys can see behind me i am sort of a fragrance collector um low key <laughs> lowest of keys <laughs> today i have with me all of the sniff fragrances that i have in my collection really quickly these fragrances were gifted to me by sniff this video is not sponsored but i did want to say thank you to sniff for sending these over um, so i'm gonna do my best to give you guys a very very descriptive um, analysis of all of these fragrances for like my beginners and the girlies that are just getting into fragrances and have no idea what some of these notes mean i got you so let's start off with the fragrance that i've actually worn out this is vanilla vice if it would focus so the packaging comes in this cardboard situation and then you pull this and the fragrance just sits in here really pretty I really like how cute this is you could get it for someone and it will come straight as a gift Ugh. one thing that I don't like is that it's actually quite difficult to get some of these fragrances out and it's like I get you know wanting the fragrance to be safe and things but like me that I bought it or me that I have it now I want to be able to get the fragrance out of the box so that I can use it like it shouldn't be awesome. this is vanilla vice for those of you that are interested in like the notes, I will be giving the notes for these. Notes are ice cream, Madagascar vanilla, jasmine, sambac, and amberwood. Musk and orcanox, whatever that is. One thing that I noticed about this scent in particular is that it smells very smoky. And not smoky in the sense that something is burning or... I'm sorry, but like I really like... This mechanism like I can't stop doing this <laughs> it's smoky in the sense that it's very like reminiscent of like woody warmth fireplace type of vibe I don't get the ice cream aspect of this fragrance um, I wouldn't lie like I wouldn't say that this is you know straight up like vanilla ice cream soft serve da, 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 da. it's very woody very ambery and it falls into for me warm vanilla category so it's not really an ice cream dessert type of vanilla it's more of a warm woody ambery type of vanilla and i i for one i love this i have actually layered this with a couple of fragrances in my collection I layered this with angam and compliments like no two ways about it so that is it for vanilla vice i definitely would recommend this to you if you're into like woody and ambery type of fragrances this is very much unisex like i definitely see both genders wearing this and like pulling the smell off this is not too sweet this is not desserty this is not gourmand nope this is just a very nice woody ambery vanilla scent so this is vanilla vice the next one that i have is crumb couture this is what the packaging looks like same dynamic as the other one just pull it and that is the fragrance across board i feel like sniff fragrances give me like six hours on skin and on clothes you can do like 10 12 14 hours um with vanilla vice i could sort of smell vanilla vice in my clothes even like after the day ended so that's that but let's get into crumb couture now this is what she looks like very demure very mindful crumb couture is the bakery type of fragrance among the ones that i have this reminds me of another fragrance that i have in my collection called panettone I came to a painful realization that I don't really like scents like these. Like I don't like scents that make me smell like a bakery. I like to smell edible, but I don't like to smell like baked goods. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't mind smelling like ice cream. I don't mind smelling like 
coffee i don't mind smelling like something like a dessert liquidy type of dessert but i don't think i enjoy fragrances that make me smell like baked goods and i know there are people out there that die for fragrances like these that make you smell like you just came fresh out of the bakery but i don't so this is i'm not the hugest fan of this but I can still appreciate how well done this is. So the notes in Creme Couture are croissant, vanilla, blackcurrant, sandalwood, tonka bean, and rose jam. Now, I feel like all I smell, and I don't want to spray this on me because I don't want to smell like a baked good. Let's do a tissue. But all I smell when I smell this is croissants <laughs> like croissants something fresh and milky and like baked and it's not bad i'm trying to get you guys to understand that it's not a bad smell like i wouldn't categorize this as a bad smell it's just not my taste she's nice she's cool for what she is but she's just not my favorite so that is it for crumb couture the next one that i have in here is sweet ash this is what the packaging looks like and just like all the other ones you pull her out and she's in here looking very demure <laughs> so difficult to take out so this is sweet ash now hmm. bro so the first time that i smelled this i just said that this is what baccarat rouge wants to be or thought she was because this is very similar to the baccarat rouge dna but to me not only do i go and not make to baccarat rouge she also doesn't give me anything she doesn't give me anything she's just like bland and i'm sorry if that's your favorite fragrance but this is sweet fluffy Oh my god sweet ash has notes of a balsam fir moss juniper vanilla bean tonka bean bergamot and patchouli <sighs> oh my top hitters are in there no wonder i love this fragrance this is woody this is like fresh this is aromatic it's very beautifully done and I don't know how they managed to make all of these fragrances perfectly unisex. Of all the fragrances that I have in my collection, Sniff is one of the houses that almost all of their fragrances are actually unisex. Because I don't mind smelling like this, neither do I mind smelling this on my man. Like, it's just perfect. It's so woody, but also the vanilla in there lends it some sweetness. So it's not just like woody and like manly. It's woody, it's sweet, it's fresh, it's a little bit spicy, it's aromatic. You can smell some sort of like essence of like lemon or lime. I really, really like this. I really, really like this. And I can't wait to wear this more. I feel like the weather is getting really cool and this paired with some other fragrances that i have in my collection that are also like very fresh leaning and woody and aromatic it would be perfect like, i feel like this with bois imperial and i have that in my collection it will be so good together because this has a slight like a tad bit of sweetness that is just perfect that will balance out the woodiness and aromaticness in white imperial but yeah that will be another video for another day but yeah this is sweet ash and now to the last one that i have this is tart deco this is what the packaging looks like and pull it out and tart deco is in there <laughs> hey no 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 i'm just gonna start off this review for this particular fragrance by saying that this is the best cherry fragrance i have in my collection and that's on period i don't want to hear it i do not want to hear it this has notes of black cherry raspberry rose jasmine mimosa vanilla birch and vetiver this is the most realistic impression of cherries in a cherry fragrance that doesn't smell 
like toffees or like a drink like a fizzy drink this just smells so realistic and oh my god i sprayed this on my hand and it was all i could smell the whole day it projects and when it dries down it dries down into like a beautiful sort of powdery cherry rose situation and i'm so obsessed i'm like why isn't this viral because this smells so good the beginning is like a burst of cherries i can like almost taste the black cherry in here oh my god i like this one so much so so much and it's so strong i feel like it's like the perfect girly fragrance especially for like days when you're at home chilling but also you want to smell really really good obviously like you can wear your fragrance anywhere but i'm talking about the settings that i have envisioned like i'm home you know chilling in my couch i'm wearing like a beautiful two-piece loungewear and i smell like this and like if somebody came to visit me and they hugged me they'll be like oh my god you smell so good Ah, oh, this is so good this is so good so now let's get into the ranking of these fragrances we're gonna do my least favorite which i feel like was pretty obvious from the way i was describing these scents to my very very favorite which i still haven't decided as of now so i don't know how we're about to rank them but number four on my list is going to be crumb couture obviously like i mentioned i'm just not a big fan of this scent profile and like, these type of scents i feel like i tend to lean towards more of anything else than baked goods so that's it but that's going to be number four on my list unfortunately number three on my list is going to be vanilla vice and it's not because i don't love her or anything it's just because she's not the type of vanilla that i ordinarily would gravitate towards to like i can appreciate the work of art that is vanilla vice and how beautiful and well done it is but i also feel like it's one of those scents that i don't see myself reaching for as much as i would other vanilla fragrances so that's just why it's going to be number three and now the number two and number one positions are going to be tough for me because i love both of these and like it was love at first sniff for both of these fragrances for me so i'm not sure how to place them but i don't love either less <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a speech, but yeah, I promise that I love these equally, but one has to place number two and one has to place number one. And I'm shocked to say this. I can't believe that I'm picking what I'm picking as number two because I never thought I would pick what I'm picking as number one as number one. But <laughs> in second place, we have Sweet Ash. Sweet Ash is beautiful. Sweet Ash is going to rank second and at first place going two for two is Tarte Deca. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like this is probably the most unique and the best cherry fragrance that I have in my collection and so like nothing else comes close to this for me. I'm going to cherish this fragrance and it's going to be a part of my journey like i know I'm, i sound dramatic but i'm not even kidding like i'm going to really cherish this fragrance and it reminds me of my childhood for some reason i don't know why but i love it and i love how it smells i love how it performs i even love the dry down so freaking much and so this is going to be number one and with that the 2020 <laughs> never mind but yeah, this is my current ranking for all of the sniff fragrances that I have in my collection. Oh my god, these look so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, all of the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Mwah.